everybody thanks for watching tuning in checking this video out hope your day's been great if it hasn't hope it gets better from here make sure to keep those you care about close enjoy this content please subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications when we able to catch nor pass the daughter without you guys hitting that subscribe button you've already hit the subscribe button please feel free to invite someone to check out this channel hopefully they'll subscribe too if you have any comments suggestions tips or tricks please feel free to leave those below in our last video we were checking out remote play on the ps5 so in this video we're going to check out remote play on the xbox series x and see if it's any better how it compares or whatnot so switch to our middle screen here and just went to the xbox website and looked up remote play So pretty much need the same requirements as you would need for the PS5 and install the Xbox app for PC. So I'm pretty sure I already have this installed here. Open it up. All right. Oh. Okay. When you get in the app, it looks like this little button here gets you to your consoles. Had the F11 to go full screen. Okay, cool. Now. We're using the PS5 controller with the PS5, obviously. So, to check and see if it works with the Xbox Series X. Doesn't seem to be. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it on the PS5 app. Just if. Okay, it's working in the PS5 app. Not here. I guess we need to do some more research on that one, huh? Or quit being lazy and go get an Xbox controller. Watch this video and see what they say. So there's two ways to connect your controller to this app. One way is via Bluetooth and the other one is via USB Type-C connection. Bear in mind, if you are going to connect this via USB Type-C, you do need to have one that supports data transfer. If it doesn't support data transfer, it's not going to connect and it's not going to work. So we're going to use Bluetooth right now. So I'm going to go ahead, turn on my Bluetooth, and then we will turn our controller on and give that a second to connect. Okay, so our controller is now connected to my computer. And now literally all you have to do is click start and it's instantly picked up my control and connected it to the DS4 app. And now you can go ahead, open up the Xbox Game Pass app, click whichever game you want to play, uh, and that will work absolutely fine. You'll have no issue. Looks like we might need to install DS4. Ah, okay. okay. Try. Download this. Maybe. Cracked it. When I extracted it, this is what I got. So doesn't look like there's really an installer for it. Put it in app data. Oh, this driver. Oh, that's all we're going to do. See. Okay, it looks like it found it there. Go back here. It recognizes it in here now. Oh, it does. Nice. Okay, so. I'll put that in the description, the link to that application as well. 
But what I want to do actually, I don't want to run this for my downloads folder, so I'm going to move it somewhere else. Gonna put it, um, put it in my documents folder for now. I'm going to pin it to start to make it easier to find. Okay, it's working. Now let's see how well we can actually play. A little more difficult than I wanted. I guess I probably could have just hooked up my Xbox controller and it would have been a lot easier. I guess I probably could have connected it Bluetooth too, but... I'm trying to get this cable situated. First thing to remember is you have to know where the button locations are because the game's gonna show you the Xbox controls, obviously. I just wanted to make sure voice chat was off. Bar seems pretty good. Obviously the graphics aren't as good. This isn't really the game mode I wanted, but it'll be alright. We can die just as well in this as any other. I mean, overall I'd have to say this seems better than uh, PS5 remote play as far as leg is concerned. Not that I'm doing very well, but... Grenade out! This isn't all the other games, I'm horrible at this one too. Shouldn't be a surprise. Objective. Why is it not marking that guy? Graphics are obviously aren't as good as if it was on Xbox, but the lag doesn't seem too bad. Kind of curious if the lag would be better on the remote play app or PS5 using this uh, controller thing, if that makes sense. So you have the lag doesn't seem as bad, so I think it would definitely be playable. I mean, maybe not quite as good, obviously, work. if you're using a capture card, but not horrible. I'm going to try the uh, PS5 remote app and see if it, the lag seems any different using PS4. Windows app, this. Curious. Make sure our mic's still working, alright. I'll try around here to see if the leg seems any better using that DS4 app. 
not worrying about talking too much because I'm just going to cut parts out of this video that uh, I'm not talking much. It almost seems worse. Okay, so the next game we're going to play a little bit with that DS4 app on and then shut it off and see if it makes a difference. I mean, it might just be that the Xbox app is better for remote play than the PS4 one. Could be a difference in the game, too, of course. Seedling down. Enemy has Bravo. First blood to me. Okay, yeah. Let's try turning it off. As far as the PS5 is concerned, that doesn't seem to make much of a difference with the controller there. Alright. It's a game like this. Controller lag. So there you have it. I don't know if it's the, you know, the game, the app, or what, but PS5 definitely does not seem to work as well. At least in uh, Cold War, as Battlefield does on Xbox, you play. I can't tell if it's the difference between games or just the difference between systems. I guess to do a real test, I'd have to play the same game on each system as a test, which I may do at a later time and date, but you can use a remote play for both. You just, one thing you might have to worry about is the lag. So there you have it. Thanks for checking this video out. If you like it, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell to get notifications. Can't catch nor pass the daughter without y'all hitting that subscribe button. If you've already subscribed, please invite someone you know to check out the video who may like to subscribe as well. Thanks.